All eyes closed. Father, we thank you for another garden here tonight. And we thank you for the mightiness of your name and your power. Your word says, O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Father, your people are gathered there tonight. Are this no more embargo meeting? They are not gathered unto a man. Because a man cannot offer any help. But they are gathered to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. And so, Father, as many of your children as are gathered there tonight, whether it is convenient for the enemy or not, whether the enemy likes it or not, whether it's something they want to happen, it's something they don't want to happen. Anyone in this garden tonight that the enemy has put a barrier and the enemy is saying, this is how far you can go. You cannot go further than this. As many people as are like that in this garden, receive your deliverance now in the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance now in the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance now in the name of Jesus. Every opportunity waster that has stolen good opportunities from God's people, all those opportunities you have lost in the past, whether it is convenient for the enemy or not, whether they like it or not, whether they want it or not, repossess those opportunities in the name of Jesus. Repossess them, repossess them, repossess them, repossess them in the name of Jesus. You, the plantation of paralysis in that person over there, hear the word of the Lord. It is written, as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away, and they shall be afraid out of their close places. You, the plantation of paralysis, hear the word of the Lord. Get out of your hiding place. Loose your hood. Loose your hood. Loose your hood. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, that person over there, feeling weak in the hands and the legs. Check the hands, check the legs. Once it can move properly, run quickly to the altar here. Don't let the devil put it back on you. You unexplainable swelling of the stomach. Hear the word of the Lord. That place too is not your habitation. So lose your hold now in the name of Jesus. That's the power of God coming upon that woman over there. That's right. Father, I'm praying that every agenda of darkness for any life here, every agenda of witchcraft for any life here, let that agenda be scattered now in the name of Jesus. I am going to count seven from here. And when I count that seven, there are certain virtues that the enemy has stolen from several lives. Immediately I hit the number seven. The power of God will come upon you. And what has been stolen will be returned. And then what you could not do before you got here, you will start doing it immediately. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. That's the power of God. That's the power of God. Aha. Something that has been stolen is being brought back. Yes, check your body now. Check your body now. Do what you could not do before you got here. Once you could do so, so run quickly to this altar. Don't let the devil put it back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I'm praying. For these three persons, you have terrible migraine. And sometimes the head feels like busting. Right there where you are, there is an angel by your side pouring cold oil onto your head. So that that agenda of darkness for your head is cut out completely. Shake that head, shake that head. That person, shake their head. That's right. Yes. That head is normal now. Find a way quickly to this altar. Don't let the devil put it back. Makapotaribo satiyama. Yes. Aha. Father, I'm praying for those 
who have come here with problems in the reproductive organs. Whatever the problem is, let the power in the blood of Jesus begin to wipe them out now. Wipe them out. 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 In the name of Jesus. Check your womb now. Check your reproductive organ. Once the problem there has disappeared, find a way very quickly to this altar. Don't let the devil put it back. Look at what is happening to one sister over there. Something is coming out from her waist. And that heaviness on the waist is broken completely. Yeah, the footsteps of Jesus is now passing by. Bearing back for the wounded healing hollow apply as he speak to the sufferer who lay on the pool he said in this moment we love be made whole we love be made whole we love be made whole oh come we Suffer, oh come, see, sick soul. See that life stream is flowing. See the cleansing waves roll. Step into the current, and love shall be. Will thou be made whole? Will thou be made whole? Oh, come, we suffer. Oh, come, sing, sing, so. See the life stream is full. See the cleansing wave roll. Step into the current, and I shall be Father. Begin to release your virtues upon all who are gathered here tonight. Everything that has been stolen from your life in the dream, recover them now. Recover them, 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 in the name of Jesus. Yes. The witchcraft power of your mother's house that has kept you in a detailed position when you are supposed to be at the head. Whether they like it or not, whether it is convenient for them or not, whether they enjoy it or not, I command you to defeat them now. In the name of Jesus. Say, where is the Lord God of Elijah? Alright. Disgrace my disgrace. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray it loud and clear. Disgrace my disgrace. In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch your right hand towards me here at the altar. 
Father, your word says, we shall lay our hands on the sick, and the sick shall recover. Let the anointing for recovery, the anointing for healing, the anointing for deliverance, the anointing for giant breakthrough, fall upon these hands in the name of Jesus. As you smite the enemy, the enemy shall flee in the name of Jesus. Get yourself ready now. Anywhere you are having infirmity or pain, this is the time to strike the place 21 times. And as you strike, say back to the sender. Back to the sender. Back to the sender. Let's go. Do it well. Do it well. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Check your body now. Do what you could not do before you got here. And once the healing power of God has entered into your life, run quickly to this altar here. Don't let the devil put it back. Run quickly to the altar. Check your body. And run quickly to the altar here. Don't let the devil put it back. Father, I'm praying. But anyone here whose name is being circulated from one witch doctor to the other, from one native doctor to the other, right there where you are tonight, receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Look at what's happening over there. Yes. Somebody's over there. You had a dream that somebody put a demonic cap or hat upon your head. And since then, you have been losing things mysteriously. Right there where you are. Fire. Fire. Fire is coming upon that head. And the yoke upon the head. Is broken completely. Broken, broken, broken. In the name of Jesus. Check that head. Check it very well. And find a way quickly to this altar here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shout this louder than anyone around you. Say powers that fought my parents and are now fighting me. I bury you tonight in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray like that. Jesus name we pray Father we cover all the signs and wonders said with the blood of Jesus affliction will never rise again in the name of Jesus as many people are saying this no more embargo meetings every manufacturer developer builder of embargoes Assigned against the destiny of anyone here, we bury them alive in the name of Jesus. 
thank you, Heavenly Father. And I take any song of praises in your mouth, any song of praises, and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Great Sako. How great is this name? How great is this love forever the sin. He rolled back the wall chest of the mighty red sea. And he said, I never knew you trust him. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. This song I want you to sing. Don't let anybody's voice be louder than yours. Because as you sing it, everyone will start at attention and attend to anything you want them to attend to. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Oh, my God, I trust in Thee, let me not be ashamed. Oh my God, 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 I trust in thee, I trust in thee, let me not be ashamed, let not my enemies triumph, one more time, one more time. Oh my God, oh my Lord, oh my Lord, oh my Lord. Oh my God, oh my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed, let not my enemies. The blood, the blood of Jesus. I bleed the blood, the blood of Let your voice be loud. I bleed the blood, the blood of Jesus. Voice louder than that. I bleed the Let's have a say, God bless you. The reason I ask you to sing, I plead the blood of Jesus, is because of what we're addressing now. Crushing strange witchcraft operations. Crushing strange witchcraft operations. Crushing strange witchcraft operations. In Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9, Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 9 Deuteronomy 18 9 The religion, the practice and the agenda of witchcraft started right from the Garden of Eden Every witchcraft foundation is in foundation of rebellion Immediately Adam rebelled against the 
information and instruction of God, it provoked the beginning of witchcraft. The Bible says rebellion is as iniquity as witchcraft. And so the practice, the attacks, and the powers of witchcraft has been in existence for a long, long time. It's not a new thing. But although it's not new, it is still public enemy number one. Public enemy number one. Anywhere you see plenty of shedding of blood is witchcraft. Anywhere you see strange accidents happen is witchcraft. Anywhere you see mysterious oppressions is witchcraft. Anywhere you see something in the spirit realm is manifesting to the physical and it became a very serious matter. It is witchcraft. In Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abomination of those nations. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a witch. Witchcraft is public enemy number one. There are plenty of offenses people commit in scripture. God hardly recommends death sentence. But when it came to the level of witchcraft, it says, thou shall not suffer a witch to live. When I was a young believer, I used to wonder seriously why God would say, destroy the whole country, destroy the women, destroy the children, destroy everyone. I say, why, why, why will he give that kind of instruction? Now, I understand. Suffer not a witch to live. Don't let his power remain alive. Because as far as they remain alive, they can transfer anything to anybody and they just transfer your case file from one witch to the other and the problem continues. I'm praying for somebody here tonight. The witchcraft embargo that has denied you your rightful position, I destroy it tonight. In the name of Jesus. The operations and manifestations of witchcraft differ from place to place. This is why it confuses so many people. There is witchcraft in Nigeria. There is witchcraft in Ghana. There is witchcraft in India. There is witchcraft in America. There is witchcraft in the United Kingdom. There is witchcraft in Europe. They are all over. But what the devil has done in many places is to repackage it. Is to repackage. To fit the taste of the modern day man. Many of the people who roam around in this country that I'm a rich man, I'm a rich man, they are witches and wizards. Many of them are witches and wizards. So, but because you don't understand what it is, and the enemy has somehow removed our intelligence to understand it, then sometimes we pray the wrong prayers. The operations and manifestation of witchcraft differs from place to place. There are some tribes in Nigeria here. Once you offend them, they don't forgive, they will never forgive, they will still fight you. Even if you go there to buy goat, to buy ram, to prostrate, to beg, it's a lie. So their own level of witchcraft is like that. So the operations differ from place to place, from culture to culture, from nation to nation, from tradition to tradition. A man was in a dilemma. He lived in London. His wife had a baby. So they invited the mother-in-law to come and to come to London to help them look after the baby. One week after mother-in-law had arrived to look after the baby, a white man was at the door, knock, knocking the door and pressing their bell. It was this brother who came out. Mother-in-law, baby, and the wife, they were inside. So the white man said, excuse me, uh, one of our members has just arrived from Nigeria. He said, he's the information officer of the witches around Said so this woman who just came from Nigeria, please help us to tell her 
that here we we get to our meeting on time. We don't come late. So tell her that that, that practice of coming late to witchcraft meeting in Nigeria, you should not carry it here. So thank you, thank you, bye bye. Ah, the brother opened his mouth. He could not close it. Ah, say witches here fly on schedule. Tell her we fly on schedule. He was now confused. What is he going to do now? He cannot tell his wife. The wife will say, you are calling my mother a witch. He cannot go and tell the woman. Because he's afraid that the woman might deal with him. He now began to look for somebody to talk to. And when they are looking for somebody to talk to like that, they start looking for somebody from Mountain of Fire to talk to. What is he going to do now? Can he order the woman to go back to Nigeria? Can he confront them? He didn't know what to do. So, which trap they differ from place to place? I wonder what you will do if you are in the position of that brother. But me, I will not tell you what I ask him to do. Praise the Lord. Because somebody may go and do it and cause more problems. Every locality has its own distinctive form of witchcraft assigned to it. It's assigned to it. Yoruba witches, they are different from Kuala witches or the one from Akwaibom or the one from Kaduna. They have their own distinctive form. And this is why I don't know whether we're going to finish the prayers tonight. For example, there is what to call open witchcraft. They will tell you, look, look here. I will deal with you. So look here. I will fight you. Look here. You will know that woman pass woman. Man pass man. So that one is not hiding. It's open. I'm praying for somebody here. Every agenda of open witchcraft for your life. I command the agenda to backfire in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. That is invisible witchcraft. You don't see them. But they are troubling your life. Some of them, they are house help. Some of them sell food in the market. Some of them sell jewelries. I want to go and make my hair. I want to go and make my hair. Some of them are making the hair. There is eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. Those are the ones who send most people to the hospital. They specialize in eating up people. It was 1990 at Old Jabba Road. A woman drag her son to me. The son could not sit down. He could not stand. He had to lie down. This son had a first class in mathematics. But he was now dying away. The woman was a multimillionaire even as at that time. She had taken the boy everywhere. Abroad everywhere. Now she, she now brought the boy. Crying. Man of God. Man of God is the only one. Only one. Pray, pray. And I look at each of them. I say, Mommy, look at my eyes. She looked up. She said, Clean your tears. She cleaned the tears. I say, Mommy, what has this boy done to you? Ah. She now said, Oh, so you can see. Say, Yes. Say, It's not my fault. Say, In the witchcraft group that she was, they say people should be donating people. And all of them have donated their children. So, I have, it's, it's, it has been donated, sir. So, although, as you see him lying down, his liver, we have eaten it. His kidney, we have eaten it. His heart, we have eaten it. I, I can still, as I'm talking to you now, I can still remember clearly. Say, Edore, Auntie J, kidney Auntie J, a corner. Auntie J. That's how she was talking to me. And I said, okay, you belong to the eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. But the Bible says, when the wicked and my foes come upon me to eat my flesh, they stumble and they fall. And the Bible says, all those that are gathered to eat my flesh or drink my blood, they shall drink their own blood until they be drunken with it. Do you know that those two statements are in the Bible? 
Say no, sir. I think, young man, say it after me. Those two scriptures. That's what the boy said. And he jumped up. And they, everything they've stolen from him, they returned it. I'm praying right here now that anyone here and they have eaten anything in your body in the name which is above all names, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, I command them to vomit them now. In the name of Jesus, a seven fold day now. There are swimmers, swimmers, they operate in the waters, they submerge people's life. This is a department. There is water which comes. There are summoners, they summon people out, call them out, call a person out of the body and take the body to somewhere, take the spirit to somewhere else and the person comes back tired fagged out. They do call people out. They can call a person out of the body. Call the person to a strange place and spiritually be having sex with that person. And the person will be having all kinds of trouble. They can call a person out of that body and issue demonic sentence upon the person. Some people could even hear their names being called call their names and if they make a mistake and answer problem start I knew a man like that he was relaxing in the city room and watching television and he had what he thought was the voice of his wife Baba Sunday Baba Sunday Baba Sunday say yes darling yes darling no answer so he now started, ask him, ah, he now started looking for his wife. He said, ah, you called me? He said, no. I didn't call you. Ah, you called Baba Sunday now three times. And I said, yes, darling. He said, no. No. I didn't call. I didn't call you. I didn't call you. He slept that night. And as he slept that night, he had a dream that he was summoned to a meeting. All of them were wearing black uniforms. And they said, we called you here to tell you that this new promotion they gave to you, you will not enjoy it. Because it's our member who is supposed to be promoted. But they promoted you instead. So, we are going to do something to you now. And you are going to lose the promotion. And they took a big stick bah, on his head. He woke up shouting. And from that day, epilepsy started. General manager of a company. He will call a staff meeting. In the full glare of the staff, he will begin to converse on the floor. He will be foaming in the mouth. So, he had to be removed. I'm praying for anyone here. Any power summoning you from the grave, from the coven, let your name bring fire upon their head. In the name of Jesus. A servant for the man. told you, open witchcraft, invisible witchcraft, eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, the swimmers, the summoners. Then there are the blockers. The block. They prevent good things from happening to people. And they allow evil things to be happening to the people. We call them blockers. But then, there is somebody called the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is a bulldozer. It's a bulldozer. That's why I decree upon your life that by the bulldozing power of the Holy Ghost, let every blocker which can face you be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. A servant for the man.
there is the slave master's witchcraft. Slave masters, we call them. They will take somebody and make the person to be working in farms, in their factory, without realizing that you are a worker somewhere. You just find that you wake up feeling fagged out and tired. Not knowing that all night you have been sewing clothes for some people. All night you have been doing carpentry apprentice. All night you have been working in a poultry farm. All night you have been working and planting something in an agricultural farm. These witches don't kill people. They make them work for them. So you come in the morning. Something they are supposed to do for one week. They'll finish it in two days. Ah, you say, madam, you are a fast tailor. Fast tailor. Fast tailor. There are extra ants doing the sewing at night. This is why some people feel so weak. They are using you for hard labor without your knowledge. If you like, drink vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin F, vitamin G, vitamin X, vitamin Y, vitamin anything. Drink blood tonic. Blood tonic, eh? Blood tonic B, whatever name they are calling. Drink hub. Please do not work. Because they are using you for hard labor at night. They are using you to do the accounting at night. And so when you get to the exam hall, they have overused your brain because they have been using it all night. What I'm saying tonight may be strange to some people. Some may even say, this is superstition. To be quite honest, I wish they were superstition. I so much wish that all these things are superstition and they don't happen. Life would have been so easy. But I can tell you that they are not superstition. They are not at all. I have a PhD in the sciences. So if anybody should know what superstition is, I should know. They are not. They are not at all. I am praying for anyone here. If they are using your body for hard labor somewhere else, or they are carrying your spirit to go and work in their company. Receive your deliverance now in the name of Jesus. Light your amen, roar like thunder. This is where we're stopping tonight. We shall continue next time. Rise up on your feet now. And let your prayer roar the way it has never roared before. Let your voice be the voice that no other voice can overshadow. This is a very serious matter. And we are not here to joke. And we have just a few prayers to pray. And we'll continue next time. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? Every witchcraft padlock assigned against me pray in the name of Jesus. Something is happening here already. You know, I told you. I told you. I told you. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, every cover fighting my life shall not prosper. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Deal with the covenant. In Jesus' name we pray. I fire back every arrow of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Bakapota sete la kaya bo shenderabo. In Jesus' 
name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Bring out the fruit which we should want to break your fast. Father, this fruit there in your hand, they stand for multiplication. They stand for great things. They stand for new things. I soak them in the blood of Jesus. I decree that as you consume this fruit, every hidden sickness in your body shall die. I decree that the Almighty shall use this fruit as divine tonic, divine antibiotics, divine vitamins, divine medication, divine breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Let us share the grace in fellowship. Trumpet of the Lord shall sound in time shall be no more, and the morning breaks it on a bright and fair. When the saved of Ed shall gather over on the other shore, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll
shout hallelujah a louder hallelujah let's rise up on our feet please as we close our eyes and raise our two hands to the lord holy spirit be my comforter holy spirit take control hallelujah as I walk along the way, the way is now. Oh yes, oh please be me. Be my sing it again loud and clear. Oh please be me. Be my comforter. Holy Spirit, take control, hallelujah, as I walk along the way, the way is now, oh yes, Holy Spirit, be Holy Spirit, move me now. Sing it loud and clear. Do something new in my life. Do something new in my life. Do something new. Something new in my life. Do something new in my life. I believe. Yes. Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I believe it is well. It is well with me. Hallelujah. It is well with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is well with you. Well with you. How I love calling your name every day. Jesus, our oh, Lord. Let your voice be louder. Jesus, I, oh, Jesus, every day. I love 
every day. He made it possibility possible. He made it possibility for Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shammah. Amen. Jehovah Lohi, Jehovah Shammah, Jehovah Rafa. Amen. Jehovah Lai, Jehovah Lohi, Jehovah Nisi. John, John, John. I've been to Calvary. I dip my hand in the blood of the Lamb. I drink the blood of Jesus. My life has been paid. I've been to Calvary. I've been to Calvary. Hallelujah. My life has been made whole. Oh, my life has been made whole. My life has been made whole. I've been to Calvary. I've been to Calvary. Hallelujah. My life has been made whole. 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 Jump out, jump out, jump out, jump out. Evil arrow is my body. Jump. Sing it loud and clear. Father, we thank you for this morning. We praise your only name because you are the God of righteousness and power. We thank you because your power is the absolute power. What a mighty God we serve. Your power is the only power that no man can contest. Your power is the empirical power. The power that has no respect for geographical location. The power that has no respect for impossibility. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. This morning, everyone gathered here. Let the power of deliverance from heaven overshadow every life in the name of Jesus. Your word says, But upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness, and the children of Jacob shall possess their possession. I decree upon you right there where you are. That the deliverance that will make you possess your possession should begin to manifest in your life now. Receive it, 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 Any power that does not want to let anyone go. Whatever covenant is keeping that power in place. I command the covenant to be broken by fire. In the name of Jesus. Let the power of God begin to move. To cut off every ladder of darkness. 
To you, Father, be the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shout it loud, Amen. Obviously, God bless you. Listen to this short message carefully. I don't even know whether it's a message. But listen to it very, very carefully. The year is running to an end now. And as usual, when the year is running to an end like this, the enemy intensifies activities in order to balance the account for the year. I'm praying that every balancing of the account of the enemy will not prosper in your life. And any part that wants you to cry shall be disgraced violently. And any tragedy left in the year, it is minus you and your family. Let your amen be loud and clear. Let your amen be loud and clear. Dealing with witchcraft arrows. Dealing with witchcraft arrows. Please listen to this short message carefully. Listen carefully. You don't have to believe what I'm saying. You may even think they're all superstitious, you say lie, but I know what I'm talking about. Amen. So please listen very, very carefully. There is an entity known as arrows of darkness. They exist. Whether you believe it or not, it does not matter. They exist. There are arrows of darkness. I have seen it manifested. I have seen many examples. Countless number of examples. That's the first fact to understand. I shared with you here before something that happened in my former church. That my former church, we don't pray much. We dance more. We take about 10 offerings per service. And in the offering, there will be no usher. You have to dance to the front 10 times and dance back to your seat. So you are always dancing in and out of your seat, in and out of your seat. We will take an offering for those who were healed. We take an offering for those who travel and came back safely. We take an offering for those who have, have obtained certificates. We take an offering for all kinds of things. And then in addition to those who want to do special thanksgiving. And if they are your friends, you dance after them and follow them to the front. And they carry a plate. Giant plate, but small money. They dance to the front. We dance after them. I used to feel sorry for my daddy who was a very poor dancer. He dancing behind the woman like that. And the woman who were rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling would be using their bum bum to shook his leg because he could not dance. That's what we were doing there. Not knowing that we were just preparing ourselves for silver golden arrows. The first time this will happen, it's a wedding ceremony. The wedding has finished. The couple were outside. Those who were to take pictures were there. All of a sudden, the bride shouted, Who are these people? And she put her hands in her wedding gown and tore it. They quickly rushed at her, pushed her inside the car, drove her straight to the hospital. Because we that were there, we did not know that there is something known as arrow of darkness. Somebody who was normal throughout the service, was never sick before, had never even taken ordinary Panadol before, does not even go to hospital because he's always well. Then all of a sudden, just like that, that's what we call the arrows of darkness. Arrows of darkness. I pray for somebody here that the arrow that is targeting your day of glory will backfire by fire. In the name of Jesus. A seven fall, amen. It was another wedding at Ife. The bride, after the wedding, began to have pounding headaches. She could not sleep. She could not do anything. They rushed out to Lagos. They brought her here. I started praying. The Lord said, call for the video of their wedding. Call for the video. Say, I want to show you something. Call for the video. So I, they, they brought the video. So I started to watch him. During the reception, as they were dancing, they were pasting money on their forehead. They were pasting money, pasting money. 
and I was watching what there. Yeah. The one woman like this danced to the front. I noticed that when she danced to the front, no one followed her. She faced the couple alone. She put her hand inside the bag. At that level, what she brought out was a feather, not money. She had used her demonic power to keep others from dancing to the front. She now put the feather on the head of the woman. And the feather did not come back to her hand in that picture. The Lord said, that's it. A feather of darkness. An arrow of darkness. True, in that picture, immediately the feather entered into her head. The bride did like this, did like this. She didn't do anything. And they continued the dancing. You really are telling me, mom. I can see that you have been attending those ceremonies. Amen. One prayer let the feather of darkness go back to the senders. That was all. But if we didn't know what happened to that head, you can put cartons and cartons of panadol. It's a lie. Can you shout this loud and clear? fired against my head consciously or unconsciously can you shout it loud your voice is not loud enough backfire by fire in the name of Jesus there is a woman here who needs to pray this prayer Mapiani Katari Kasa Riba Sapiani Katandaka In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch your right hand to the heavenlies. Say, My Father, put heavenly coals of fire on my hands now stretch that hand above your head my father put heavenly coals of fire upon my hands now fire to disgrace the weapon of darkness in the name of Jesus now smite your head seven times one two three four five six seven do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you, Jesus. Sit down for a little bit, madam. Sit down, brothers, sisters, ladies, and gentlemen. So there is an entity known as arrows of darkness. At fact number one. At fact number two. Men and women receive these arrows every day. Every day. Fact number three. The Bible makes us to understand. According to Psalm 91. Psalm 91 verse 5. That there is an arrow that flyeth by day. So fact number three. There are day arrows. There are night arrows. The Bible makes that one very very clear every arrow by day fired against anyone here shall be fire by fire <laughs> how many facts have i told you now fact number four most cases of untimely death is due to these sudden arrows sudden arrows it's a terrible thing a professor had been looking for a child for a long time Eventually, the wife took him. He was teaching in the lecture room that day. While they came to break the news that the wife had delivered a baby boy. Professor was extremely glad. He was beside himself with joy. He jumped up for joy. By the time he landed on the floor, he was dead. That's what they call arrows. Doesn't make sense the way it works. Fact number five. The strength of an arrow and the power thereof depends on the person who shoots the arrow depends on the origin of the arrow fact number six there are special arrows 
the enemy fires at the righteous righteous so the fact that you are righteous does not mean they won't target you the bible says they shall fight against you but they shall not prevail it didn't say they will not fight they will fight but they shall not prevail can you say they shall not prevail can you shout it three times in psalm 11 verse 2 psalm 11 verse 2 if you are there say yes are you there so for lo the wicked bend their bow they make ready their arrow upon the string that they may privily shoot at who at the upright there you are there are special arrows targeted against the righteous and at fact number seven the most dangerous arrows are fired by witchcraft because they are public enemy number one public enemy number one public enemy number one please from what i've said so far you will see that walking about saying i'm sanctified i've received salvation i am holy i am righteous i have received the baptism of the holy spirit by the grace of god i'm living a clean life i don't sin I don't lie i don't fornicate i don't steal does not say that they will not fire the arrow please understand that one that's why you find somebody who claims to be holy he has received an arrow somebody who claims to be doing god's work he has received an arrow Receive an arrow. When a man of God at the age of 70, pastor at the age of 70, is now suspended for sleeping with a girl of 20, and he has been a pastor for 50 years. He was a pastor before I was born, and now he's gone. Just like that. That's the arrow. Is that the make ready their arrow so that they can privily shoot privily shoot at the righteous notice the word privily there they be careful they watch the person carefully watch the person very carefully no wonder that hymn says christians seek not yet repose hack your guidance angel say thou art in the midst of foes watch and pray says principalities and power gather their unseen array waiting for your unguarded hour that is waiting for your careless hour waiting for that time when you are supposed to pray you are watching television waiting for that time when you are fighting your wife fighting your husband waiting for that time when you fall into sin and when you enter into that unguarded hour you say yes yes shoot the thing goes in it's after the arrow has gone in Father, I'm sorry, Father, I'm sorry. Father, forgive me. I'm sorry. Father, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I promise, promise I won't do so again. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but the arrow is already, sir. See, already. Waiting for your unguarded heart. Watch and pray. The songwriter now says, Watch as if on that alone. Watch as if on that alone. Lies the issue of the day ambushed lies the evil one watch and pray ambush lies the evil one so watch and pray the yoruba hymn book says a shoe back on the is a hunter it's watch so watch and pray so there are arrows for the righteous the most dangerous ones are fired by witchcraft when an arrow comes against a person three things can happen one you either receive the arrow which most people do two it bounces off bounces off and it, in bouncing off it can go to the center it can go anywhere three it can miss you and eat someone else misses the person and eats someone else 
And this is a serious matter. But the truth is this. Anyone firing an arrow at a true child of God is seeking for trouble. Really, really trouble. Heaven may keep quiet for a while, but when heavens begin to react, it can be terrible. Any power firing an arrow at a child of God is planning to sink in the Red Sea like Pharaoh. Any power firing an arrow at a child of God is seeking to be destroyed by God's angel the way an angel destroyed the army of Sennacherib. Any power firing an arrow at the child of God is seeking to receive the stones that fell into the head of Goliath. Any power firing an arrow at the child of God is writing courier letters to substitution and it will be repl- he himself will receive the arrow. Any power firing arrows at the child of God is seeking to be eaten up with, with worms like Herod. The Lord is a man of war. He understands all strategies and policies of the enemy. Maybe you don't know. Our Lord is a mighty and terrible, terrible warrior. He can employ anything to fight for you. He can even employ inanimate objects to terrify and destroy the enemy. Everyone may be watching for a little bit. But once our Lord beckons with one finger, one finger, all celestial and terrestrial hosts are ready to fight. The Bible says, who had hardened his heart against God and has prospered? When God sets himself against an enemy, the enemy is undone. Because riches cannot save the enemy. Strength cannot save the enemy. In the day of God's anger, riches is not, it's not a defense. Money cannot bribe him. The Lord has always disgraced those who try to rise against his children. He makes one to chase a thousand and two to put ten thousand to flight. He knows what the enemy is discussing in their bed chambers. He knows the thoughts of their heart. Perhaps you are here this morning and you have been shedding uninvited tears. You close your eyes, you cannot sleep. You have food on the table but no appetite. You see wrong. Not because you are wrong, but because wrong sees you. I have a message for you today. The repeated affliction shall backfire this morning. And every new affliction shall flee. Let me drop a gentle note of warning this morning. Anybody who wants to deal with anything witchcraft, you have to do it without compromise. You have to be violently determined. You have to behave like those who destroyed Jezebel. Jezebel was there on the top of the house. And Jezebel said, throw her down. And they threw her down. You have to be that violent. We are getting ready to pray now. Because I told you that this is a short message. But now, I want to look at some scriptures. Plenty of them actually. Pass a few comments on those scriptures. Then we are going to start praying now. Anyone who is present in the service of this morning, you did not come here by chance. You must have come by divine ordination and appointment. In Proverbs chapter 28, verse 10, it's good to note these scriptures very well. Proverbs 28, verse 10. Proverbs 28, verse 10. If you are there, say yes. Who so caused the righteous to go astray in an evil way, he shall fall himself into his own pit. He shall fall himself into his own pit. But the upright shall have good things in possession. So the Lord is saying that that pit dug for you. They who dug the pit shall fall into that pit. The same Proverbs chapter 26, 26 verse 27. We are looking at principles of dealing with those arrows. In all the scriptures I'm reading, I'm giving you principles. Proverbs 26, 27. Whoso digget a pit shall fall therein. And he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon them. There you are. That is, their weapon should catch them. Now, if you go to Deuteronomy chapter 7, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 15. Deuteronomy 7, 15. It says this. And the Lord will take away from thee all sickness, and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt which thou upon thee. 
Then listen to what he says. But we lay them upon all them that hate thee. That's what the Bible says. It will not allow the arrow of sickness to come upon you, but it will allow you to come upon your enemies. In the book of Nehemiah, Nehemiah, you find Nehemiah after Ezra, before you get to the book of um, Esther, Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 4. Hear, O our God, for we are despised and turn their reproach upon their own head and give them for a prey in the land of captivity. You can see the stand of scriptures. Because sometimes when we start praying this prayer, some people say, why is all this in the Bible? This is, this is uh, not, not scriptural. It's not scriptural. This is not scripture you are reading. In Psalm 7, verse 16, Psalm 7, verse 16, it says this, his mischief shall return upon his own head and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own forehead that's what the bible says here i hope you can read it by yourself and in psalm 35 which you read this morning psalm 35 verse 8 psalm 35 verse 8 it said let destruction come upon him at unawares and let his net that he had eat catch himself into that very destruction let him fall so the prayer is let his own net catch him As the one who made the net said so let that net now catch him the bible also tells us so no weapon fashioned formed prepared no weapon fashioned against thee that is, the specialist sit down in the laboratory and prepare a special weapon against you. They fashioned it. So, but no weapon fashioned like that against you shall prosper. So every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, thou shall condemn. It didn't say thou shall pacify. Thou shall beg. Thou shall appeal to them. No. Every tongue that rises against thee in judgment, that is, every witchcraft judgment against you, thou shalt condemn. That's what it says. Didn't say you just tolerate them and let them be talking all the nonsense and rubbish you want to talk. The Bible now says something very serious. Look at the book of Esther, chapter 7. You find Esther after Nehemiah that we read before. Esther, chapter 7, verse 10. Esther, 7 10. So they hanged Haman on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. They hanged Haman on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. That is why we used to pray mountain of fire. At any power that wants you to die, shall die in your own place. Every Haman assigned against you shall die for your sake. Let your amen be loud and clear. So when evil arrows are fired, the strategy of the Almighty is that the weapon that is used against you should fall back on the ones who started the weapon. The evil words that are used against you once you go back to those who originated it. It is a divine principle for his children. I pray that any incantation you use against anyone here shall backfire by fire. Every curse issued against you from any form of coven shall go back to the senders. Every arrow fired against your progress shall backfire. Every assignment of the wicked against you shall acquire acidic violence and go back to the senders. In the name of Jesus. We believers do not send curses to people or arrows, but we have a right to return those ones sent to us because we did not create the forces. It was some people who created forces to destroy Daniel in the Bible. They created a force which they hope would destroy Daniel, but the force that his enemies created was not only rendered powerless, 
but it went back to destroy them. I pray that every arrow fired against your family shall backfire. Every plot against you shall go back to the center. And if your amen can be very loud, the bullet of your enemy shall destroy them. You shall destroy them. You shall destroy them. The bullet of your enemy shall destroy them. You shall destroy them. He shall destroy them in the name of Jesus. A sample for them. These days, a lot of people just sleep and they experience somebody strangulating them on the bed, trying to choke them upon the bed as they are. Some tell you they hear voices telling them to do strange things as the arrow a sister was giving testimony at prayer city that in the night she just stood up took off her clothes and was about to walk out into the streets children asleep husband asleep then she heard a voice daughter go back go back it was then her eyes cleared and she saw herself and she was wearing nothing the enemy wanted to throw her into the streets Mad. If there is anyone here this morning and there's an arrow to make you insane, may that arrow of insanity double its power and go back to the center. In the name of Jesus, a seven fold amen. The amen is not loud enough. A seven fold amen. Someone has been happy all of a sudden. A sudden depression comes upon the person. A heaviness. That's the arrow. When the Bible says, It gives beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for money, the garment of presence out of the spirit of heaviness. Now, heaviness has entered. So the person who woke up saying, Praise it, Lord, praise the Lord, praise God, praise God. The mood, everything has now changed. It's an arrow. Needless fear. It's an arrow. A pimple on the face. Something say is leprosy. Fear. Needless fear. Pimple on top of the breast. Somebody say this is cancer. Needless fear. It's an arrow. There is what you call paralytic wind. Some people just, some breeze will blow upon them like this. They just go paralyzed. May those evil wind go back to the senders. Sometimes it's a cold chill at night. Even in a hot room, the temperature of the person just falls. An arrow of witchcraft. Sometimes the head or some parts of the body, they feel heavier than other parts of the body. It's an arrow. Sometimes some parts of the body will be shaking on their own without anybody touching them. It's an arrow. I've seen people they prepare food by themselves not that they bought the food from outside but as they ate the food they were finding insects and parts of a uh, body of uh, tiny tiny animals inside the food the arrow of witchcraft some dream that the air is cut off or they wake up without anybody entering their room they find that part of their air had been cut off some arrow of witchcraft sometimes they send demon idols to people demon idols come to people physically you see them physically come to accost people it's an arrow of witchcraft sometimes they even send snakes live snakes to people sometimes it's spiritual snakes to people it's an arrow of witchcraft sometimes it's heat in the head but you just be hot you don't know what is going on it's the arrow of witchcraft I want somebody in this meeting this morning to get sufficiently angry in the spirit to fight back and fight and win. It's a very serious matter. Sometimes people hear their names being called. Who calls the name? And unfortunately, some answer. Say yes. I say, Mommy, why are you saying yes? Uh, didn't you call me? No. Nobody called you here. And generally, 
Such people die within a few days. May any voice calling anyone here from the grave be silenced by fire. In the name of Jesus. Let that amen roar like thunder. Sometimes they feed people with what they will ordinarily not eat. They will feed them with that food in their dreams. Some arrow of witchcraft. Sometimes people dream a female with male organ, male sexual organ, will be sleeping with them, carrying a female face, but having a male sexual organ. It's a terrible arrow indeed. Sometimes it's sudden pain in the body. They go to the hospital, they check x ray, check everything, nothing. Sometimes they have prepared an arrow for somebody in the village and they say, Somebody's dying, somebody's dying. Come home, come home, come home. Only for you to rush down in front of nobody was sick. I say, well, It's just a long time we have seen your face. And if you say you should come, you will not come. It's an arrow. People seen themselves inside coffins, seen themselves dining with the dead. It's an arrow of witchcraft. Many who are here this morning, unfortunately, we have been attacked at one time or the other with these weapons. If you were attacked as a baby, it is possible that the arrow is even still in you. If you were attacked before you got born again, it is possible that the arrow is probably still in you. If you are attacked when you were ignorant, it is possible the arrow is still inside. But what you should learn today is to send the arrow back to the senders. You do not have to exercise fear. You have to plead the blood of Jesus as a covering for yourself and begin to demand that the arrows should go back to the senders. I shared with you here many years ago the story of how an occultic man got born again. That occultic man is now a pastor. It was a face my face with kind of accommodation. This occultic man was in one room. The sister was in the room next to him. And the son of the woman was sick. She had one son and the son was sick. It was a strange sickness. So she started praying for the baby. Praying for this child. When she prayed, 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 the child would be okay for a little bit. After some time, the conversion would start again. This woman would start praying, 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 praying. And then the child would relax again. After some time, this child would start again. This woman would pray, 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 pray. Not knowing that by the second room, this occultic man was the one killing the child. He had put a nail somewhere. And when he bangs the nail inside, the child begins to converse in the other room. And when the woman begins to pray, the force of her prayer will be pushing out the nail. Pushing out the nail. Pushing out the nail. Then the nail falls down. And the boy says, Mommy, I'm okay. The man takes the nail again. Put it back. Bwah! The child starts again. And this battle went on from 7 a.m. in the morning till 5 in the evening. The woman kept praying. And the man kept putting the nail. After some time, the man came out, carried the concussion, knocked the woman's door. Say, Madam, Madam, I have a feeling that your child is not okay. Give him this concussion to drink. If she had accepted it, that would have been the end. She said, Thank you. I don't want. I do not want. For those of you who are still drinking concussions, God have mercy on you. The man now went back to his room. I said, Okay. This is enough. This woman is embarrassing me. Now brought out his satanic drum and began to call forth for the face of the woman and her child to kill them on the drum. Their faces were supposed to appear in that drum and they would put a nail through it. And that would have been the end of the two of them. So she prepared the drum, made all the incantations. She was supposed to call their names three times. She called the name first time, no one appeared. She called the name second time. The woman and her child appear. Brought out his nail. To stick into the drum. Just a split second for him to do that. The face of an old man appeared. Grey hair. Smiling. And said, I am the Alpha and Omega. I am the ancient of days. Now pack all your fetish power here together. And go to that church over there. But that woman is my daughter. You cannot kill her, you cannot kill her son. All these powers you have here, you can now see that they are useless. This was how the man surrendered his life to Jesus. Rise up on your feet, beloved. All eyes closed.
But you see, if you are here this morning and you are not born again, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, do so very quickly now. Very, very quickly now. By raising up your right hand and say what I'm going to say after. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. You say that short prayer with me. Immediately we close. Just find a way to the altar here so that we can pray more with you. All eyes closed. Obviously, you can see that we are not here to joke. We are here for serious business. We are going to start our prayers with a song we sang last. Jump out. Jump out. Evil arrows in my body, in my progress, in my family, they must jump out. We are going to start with that song. And when you are singing it, just open your eyes and begin to do what I'm doing. Whatever I do, you do. As you are singing that song. Because as you are singing that song, it's an order. It's a command. The Bible said, Thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established. Thou shalt decree a thing. Jump out. Jump out. Jump out. Jump out. If you are in my body, jump. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh yes, sir. Oh yes, sir. Hallelujah. Jump out. Jump out. Oh yes, sir. Hallelujah. Jump. Hallelujah. Oh yes. Oh yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh yes, sir. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, sir. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. close now with a voice that roars like fire and like thunder say I fire back every arrow of witchcraft now in the name of Jesus open your mouth and cry Jesus is here something must happen in your life today Bariabo Pasitala. Fire it back. That's why you are here. 
Aha, aha, aha. This is not a debt to negotiate. Louder, 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 louder. We are not here to play. I fire back every hour of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Aha! Aha, 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 aha. Amen. Aha, you see what is happening now? See what is happening now? That's right. Say arrows of reproach, arrows of embarrassment, arrows of limitation. Can you shout those three arrows loud? Sisters, your voices are not loud enough. Everybody together now. Everybody together again. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes. 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 Yes, yes, my Peter Satele Kayaba, Ribo Soponte Kayabo Shantaraba. Yes, Jesus name we pray uh -huh. this is wonderful with a louder voice Allah! insulting my faith can you shout that loud backfire in the name of Jesus Continue, continue, continue. Jesus is here. Aha, that's it. That's how to do it. In Jesus, then we pray. Envious enemies backfire in the name of Jesus. The arrows of envious enemies. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray a seven fold man stretch your right hand towards the heavenlies again say my father put hot coals of fire Fire of complete deliverance. 
upon my hands now in the name of Jesus anywhere I smite with my hands let the arrows go back to the senders in the name of Jesus start with your head again three times one two three go to your chest one look at what is happening over there two three go to your stomach close to your belly button close to your belly button one two three now go to your back your back your back one two That woman over there having issues with your womb. Go to your womb area. One. Don't feel sorry for that place. Do it again. One, two, three. Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Now begin to speak into the womb of this month. Tell it what it should deliver to you. Tell you what you should not deliver. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Lord, shall I should tell somebody here that although it looks impossible or unachievable, but that before this year runs to an end, your testimony shall shock your friends and surprise your enemies. Let the amen roar like thunder. Father, I cover your people with the blood of Jesus. As you go into this month, it shall be well with you. The Holy Spirit will change the rules for your sake. The Lord will arise for your sake in every area. It is written, as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. Father, I pray that any stranger contesting for the life of your children, let them be embarrassed and disgraced in the name of Jesus. The arrows that have come back to the senders today shall never come back to you again. The spirit of Jehovah, which is the everlasting spirit, shall arise and defend you. It is written, the Lord has his way in the wind and the wild wind. I command your way to open in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship.